you hear the coyote? I did. That was, too much fun. That was very cool. All right, we are all packed up. I don't even know what day it is. Jody, what day is it? Engine Y. Day six, maybe? We've got, uh, there's a town about a mile away called uh, Merriman, and we're gonna see if we can get some water there because we're pretty much out and the water here smells like egg farts. <clears throat> so we don't really want to fill our water bottles with it. And then it's literally like 38 miles till the next town, which is a decent one we can resupply it. But uh, we have enough food, just about making sure we have water. So basically not leaving Merriman until we find some water. And then after that, there's about every 10 miles. We're staying in Hay Springs, either at the city park or I think there's a campground across the street from it. So I'm gonna finish getting uh, packed up and hit the dusty trail. We had uh, some nasty storms last night. <clears throat> a lot of thunder and lightning and um, high winds, but no, no damage to anything. Made it through, it actually put me to sleep. So that was a good thing. It cooled things down as well. Also quieted down the neighbors since they had to go inside their RVs. But anyway, I'm gonna hit the road. <laughs> you like that belly rub, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> lovely downtown Merriman. We're going to try and get some water in the park here, hopefully. In the flooded park. Well, good news, the city park here in Merriman has uh, water and this brown thing behind me, I think which is an old converted trailer, uh, actually has a flush toilet and a shower. So if you're gonna, you think about staying at Cottonwood State Park, this, our recreation area, this actually might be better. Uh, right now it's flooded though. So I'm kind of glad we didn't camp here. But the Cottonwood doesn't have a shower um, it's got outhouses, which are fine. They were in very nice condition, but uh, this is also free. So, so we are filled up. I've got, I think, just over a gallon. Uh, I've got a 96 ounce container in this bag down here, and then these 32 ounce water bottles. Because I think our next, the next town we go through is Gordon, and it's uh, 38 miles from here. So, kind of a long haul in the wide open that is Nebraska. So, all right, time to get out of town. This is really cool. It's all the Sand Hill cattle brands. So we've been following the Chicago Northwestern that uh, back in Valentine was the Cowboy Trail. You can see it off to the right there. You can still see the railroad bed from the Chicago Northwestern there with the ballast and they got the railroad ties pulled up but still more railroad than it is bike path yet eventually they're supposed to finish it as, as it's gonna be or is part of the great American trail you can also see the old highway next to it and then we can make it out in the weeds there We've just been, it's been following 20. Every once in a while it jets away from it, but it always comes back. So it'll be cool when it's finished. Definitely a beautiful area to bike through. But right now I much prefer the uh, nice wide paved shoulder of 20. This guy, Brian, is leading the way. Hope he's going the right way.
it seems like uh, things are kind of starting to open up. There's bigger, bigger sand hills here. You can just see some distance. We're up at uh, 35, almost 3,600 feet elevation. We start at 1,500 back in Norfolk. And so you can see a lot longer distances out here. I know how well it shows up on the camera. But kind of starting to open up. Nice, we pretty much have this road to ourselves. Uh, I think yesterday I uh, felt like I was finally in touring mode. Uh, the day before that I was kind of, I had some stomach issues, but uh, now, I mean, yesterday and today, I definitely feel like I'm in the groove, I'm on my schedule. Just, I feel strong on the bike, uh, even in the, the heat in the afternoon. So, that's good. Finally. Finally up to speed. I haven't got to ride a whole lot. Uh, I did that one trip early, but I mean, riding at home, just normal day rides, haven't been able to because it's been so wet and just rainy. Rainy and cold. So it's good to get out and finally feel like I'm uh, kind of back in touring shape again. So feeling wonderful. Got a little kind of a tailwind. It's coming from the side. It feels good. It's cool. Keeping me cool. And uh, giving a little push. So, feeling good. About 20 miles in. I think we're going to take another break up here. back there I wonder if that was water or sucking sewage or something mm -hmm. from way down there man you can see there's another like set of hills or bluffs way out there you can really see a long way now It is really starting to open up now. Just climbed this uh, hill with this false summit. And I think we get to go down uh, to the town of Gordon. I don't know if you'll be able to see on video, but you can see for miles. again. Well, 
we are in Rushville right now. Um, it's very hot out. It's like, I don't know, in the 90s. We have partial tailwind, so it's pretty hot because it's uh, just behind you. So kind of been taking it easy, stopping. At least each town now is about seven or 10 miles apart. But um, our actual planned destination for tonight is Hay Springs, which is 11 miles away. We've got a tailwind. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon. Semis, hashtag semis. Uh, it's only 2.30 in the afternoon, so when we get to Hay Springs, we're kind of going to make a decision whether we want to push to the next town, uh, which is another 19 miles, because we have a 70-mile day tomorrow. That would actually cut it down to, you know, to 50, so might uh, get while well, the getting's good when we have a tailwind. So we'll, we'll evaluate it by then. We're going to try and find a place that has a slushy machine, though. I saw some some farm truck uh, filling fertilizer or something, herbicide, but it looked like a blueberry slushy or icy. And uh, ever since then, I've been craving one and we're just on a mission to find one. So I bet there's one in this town. It's a pretty decent size. So time to go look for that slushy. best combo I've ever seen of two stores combined, you know, like Subway and the gas station, is Liquors and Wild Willie's Fireworks. That's right. Get your liquor and your fireworks. All in one stop shop. Alright, we're at the Pumpin' Pantry. On the alert for squishies. So we're currently in Hay Springs um, at the park we were going to camp at. Um, just kind of took a rest here. Got some picnic tables. There's an RV campground thing right there too. Uh, showers, but we actually have, we have to head northwest and the wind is going northwest like 10 miles an hour. Uh, all the way to the next town, so we're gonna head there. It's 20 miles. I don't know, it's like 5:30, so we're gonna take advantage of it now and cut our 70-mile day tomorrow down to 50. You know, take our opportunities as they come. I think it's a good decision. We got plenty of daylight left, so we're just gonna refill in some water and uh, get back on the road here. All right, so so far the decision has paid off. We're Cruising about 18 miles an hour, 0% grade, and enjoying it. Scenery's changing a little bit, but I think we're gonna have some hills coming up here. But tailwind is definitely paying off going the extra 20 miles. Kind of trying to outrun the storm too. I don't know if you can see behind me. Looks rather blue and ominous. All right, so we made it to Chadron. It looks very dark. We've seen lots of lightning in the sky, but we're here. We're just gonna find a place to stay. Probably gonna get a hotel because I think the only campground uh, is the RV park, which is a parking lot. Um, they don't have parking in their, or camping in their city parks, I think, because this is a college town. So, I think 
we're gonna find a hotel and it's gonna storm anyway so why not we pushed for a long day we were gonna do we were gonna do 57 miles and we ended up doing 77 or 80 so we have earned it all right i'm gonna find a place 